The Mercedes-Benz Vito is a mid-sized van that knows its business. With three lengths, three weight variants and two turbo diesel engines available in five power ratings, this Vito offers a broad range with several options and three standard trim levels, pure, progressive and premium. So what kind of business do you have? If its deliveries are relatively light and local, then as a potential Vito operator you'll want the affordable front-driven 1.6 litre version. It comes in two guises. There's a base 109 CDI model with 88 horsepower, but we'd highly recommend you find the extra for the uprated 111 CDI variant, which ups power to 114 horsepower. For longer distance work, heavier loads or towing, you should turn your attention to the Vito models that can carry forward the previous version's mechanical layout, rear-wheel drive mated to twin-turbo 2.1-litre diesel power. There's a choice of three models, the 136 horsepower 114 CDI variant or a 163 horsepower 116 CDI derivative, which slots in just under the top 190 horsepower 119 CDI version. This top model gets a sophisticated 7-speed 7 7G Tronic Plus auto gearbox that's an option on the 116 CDI version. As for practicalities, well, all versions of this Mercedes come with a choice of either 2.8 or 3.05 tonne gross vehicle weights. Go for a standard 2.8 tonne front-driven variant and you'll be able to haul up to 955 kilograms about. A rear-driven Vito, though, can do much better. You get an additional 3.2 tonne gross vehicle weight option with this configuration and the result is the potential to carry a maximum payload capacity that could be as much as 1,255 kilograms. And loading capacity? Well, since Vito buyers don't get a choice of roof height, this will depend entirely on buyer's choice of length. The shortest L1 body style gives you 5.8 meters cubed of capacity and 2,586 millimeters of load bay length. Move on to the L2 variant and you'll get 6.3 meters cubed and 2,831 millimeters of length. Finally, the L3 version gives you a spacious 6.6 meters cubed and 3,061 millimeters of load bay length. Three dimensions are the same for all Vitos though. First, there's a loading sill height over which you've got to lump your cargo, that's 557 millimeters. Then the loading bay height, 1,195 millimeters. And finally, the loading bay width, 1,685 millimeters from side to side or 1,270 millimeters between the wheel arches, just wide enough to slide in a Euro pallet. In fact, the most spacious L3 derivative would easily allow you to fit three Euro pallets in line inside. Talking of pallets, you can also fit one in through the side sliding doors. There's one each side provided as standard. And leasing is easily the most cost effective way of running the Vito and 1400 customers a month do so using Vanarama, recognizing that they can run a new leased vehicle for the same or in most cases less than it would cost them to run a used one. Users are attracted by our authority, our trustability and credibility. No one knows more about van leasing than us. As for this Vito, well, with this improved model, Mercedes has at last showed itself to be really serious about the medium range van segment. You really can now consider an LCV bearing that famous three-pointed star as a realistically priced alternative to the Vauxhall Vivaro or Ford Transit Custom that you were probably thinking about. Here it is.